Mount Rainier in the distance. There are few cities finer on a clear afternoon than this one, and we have a picture-perfect day for football at Lumen Field in Seattle. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one in the NFC, as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line, and no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia. He was coming off a back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. <laughs> On first down, they'll kick off the drive with Dallas. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Smith now to throw. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First carry here for Kenneth Walker, the third. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Sticking with Walker on second down. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Seattle, and it is the Seahawks with the football here as they've got it with a third down coming up. Throwing on third down, Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. The Seahawks will call on Michael Dixon on fourth down to punt this one away. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. And this will be taken at the 13. And that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. 
The former number six overall pick of 2019, Daniel Jones, trots out to lead this New York Giants offense. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants, but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete, as long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. Throwing Jones. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. Big strides. Look at him go. And he's going to get it down to the 14 yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 65 yards. And normally, when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now Jones. This pass into the hands of Bellinger. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. From the nine, second and five. Looking to throw. Jones. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Trey Brown. And the Seahawks are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. Not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. After the interception, here's Smith. Well, that one too wide and incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Again from the 20 after the incompletion, here's second and 10. Now Smith. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Straight ahead, Walker. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Michael On fourth Dixon. down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. as they take over. The Giants now are going to take over late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. 
to this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Throwing again, Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that fall incomplete. They're giving some different looks here defensively in the early goings. He hit two of his first five passes with a big third down coming up. He's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Robinson, the motion man right. Uh, here's a fake on the jet sweep as they'll go instead with Barkley. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On fourth down, Jamie Gillen on to punt for the Giants. And back deep is DJ Dallas. Powers through. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine yard return, 50 on punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. So we've hit halftime in what was obviously a very fast-moving first half of play. As we send you cross-country to Orlando, John of Coachman is there and has our eSports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. Not too much to show you in terms of scoring plays. In fact, there's nothing to show you. A scoreless tie here at the half. Both of these defenses have been outstanding thus far. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. second half bring as we are now back underway from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter and both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively just not able to get anything going so what needs to change I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to, how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Good running from Barkley there on first down as he'll get forward for about six yards. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. On the draw, this is Barkley. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28 that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all these pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback land on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. 
They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Now a play fake here on first down. Now this thrown deep for Slayton. And that's caught inside the 35. So three quarters in the book, still no one on the scoreboard. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington, as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Jones now throwing on first down to Shepard complete over the middle and inside the 20 before he's brought down nice well coached a team that understands what's going on they still have time to work the middle of the field as they just did there plenty of time all three timeouts still remain Here's first and ten now. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. Here comes second down at five. They'll run it again with Barkley. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. tougher place to be in a spot like this than Seattle. Here's third down. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. So out of the field now, Graham Gano in a big spot. This for the lead in the final stages. Gano's kick is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, it took a while to get something, anything, on the scoreboard, but we finally have our first points of the contest. So the question now becomes, can they make this one stand up? And the way that these defenses have played, those three points... Almost look like 30, don't they? Yeah, those three points look like a miracle right now.
After Brown knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. DJ Dallas to return it from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So Gino and the Seahawks down 3 0. Exactly one minute remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Smith. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and ten. Smith. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. It's Deontay Banks with it. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. And the Giants will kneel it here out of the victory formation. Down to a knee goes Jones, and that should just about seal it. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And not all W's are created equal, CD, and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things. If it didn't go well in your game, what the victory.